Yo, welcome back to Danganronpa. It's kind of been a few weeks since we last played, but here we are now in the middle of the class trial, the second class trial where we left off, and yeah. The difference between this case and another Genocide Jack murders. The evidence that proves Byako is responsible is hidden in there. What could it be? Have we done this already? Make your argument. Uh, library desk lamp. Oh, yeah, the... Here it was strangled with a cord and not with scissors. What? The difference between the cases? The murder you weapon. Want me to explain it again? <laughs> Please explain. Oh. I want to kill. I use my very own yes. scissors. Ah! Um. Shoot. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This game is so damn loud. Oh my god. I think I know what to do. What? The difference between the cases? I have to capture you want her me to argument. It again? No. When I want to kill, oh. I use my very own special scissors. Yes. And I use those same scissors to arrange the body. But Chihiro uh, was suspended with... Library just some went. kind of rope. Was it not? Yes. That's right. It absolutely was. Oh, I really then have to there. There must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. It's the library hey, just went. Where'd you get it from, huh? Come on. I'd never seen that rope before in my uh, life. Lie! Life. Obviously, someone ah. else must have had it hidden away somewhere. No! Bullshit! Proof that Byakuya did it as hidden within a rope. I guess it's possible, but first, the item she had from Bart with was used like rope, but it wasn't actually rope. No, it wasn't. Byakuya didn't use rope. He used a very specific object. I love how we. What? The difference between the two. I say that it was Byakuya. You want me to explain it again? Yes. When I want to kill, I use my very own special scissor. I know. And I use those same scissors to arrange the body. Yes. But Chihiro was suspended Come on. with. Faster. It was some kind Faster. of. Faster. Was it not? That's right. Can I speak to something? Was. Oh, I can pause. I'm and only learning this now. Wow. Okay. Fishy indeed Never about that mind, rope. Then. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? Come on. I'd never seen that rope before in my life. Obviously, somebody ah! else must have had it hidden away somewhere. Timing isn't my best specialty. Okay, 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 we're gonna do this again. Yes, what? yes, yes. The difference between the cases? Speed it up. You want me to explain it? What? <laughs> I'm trying to make this faster. Um, and I use those same scissors to arrange the body. I should not be shooting at the but timer, maybe. Chihiro was suspended with. Oops. It was some kind of rope. Was it not? It That's was the card of the was. library. Then there Blast. must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. Come on, Tsugami. Hey, oh, please you get let it, from, it work. Huh? I hope when I get it right that this I've is actually. I've never seen that rope before in my life. Bullshit! No, that's wrong. You showed me the freaking rope, you loser. Dumbass. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have seen it before. Go tell him, Nagy. Because you see that rope, or should I say, mm, tell him that extension cord. Oh, burn! Let it sink in. What? An extension <laughs> cord? Yes. Yakuya. You've used the extension cord in the library more than once, haven't you? Oh, yeah. And the same extension cord that was in the library all this time... ...went missing after the murder. Uh, how dare you? And there's no way someone who uses that extension cord as much as you do wouldn't discover that fact. And Byakuya must be the one who took the extension cord. I can't imagine any other possibility. He really thought he outsmarted us, huh? Yeah. If that's really what you think, then your conclusion is something like this? Make it make sense, yes! I killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. But there's still something wrong because of the posters and shit, and the stain that Sakura left. And we haven't even talked about this yet. I intentionally made it look like Genocide Jack was behind it. I mean, yeah, it sounds like something he would just casually do in his free time. Is that about right? Yeah, I guess. Rich people do stupid things because they have too much free time. He's doing it again. He's totally calm, totally unconcerned. As if he's not even involved. Wait, not even involved? What's wrong? I asked you if you think that's what happened. I don't know what I'm thinking. Leave me alone. Hell yes, that's what happened. So that's it, right? Biaki is the killer. Hold your horses. No, 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 no. This is too easy. This is too 
This class try to be over too fast. I don't disagree with not disagreeing. <laughs> he kept calling this a game, right? So he'd be totally willing to do something like this to win. Yeah, but I think he would be smarter if he tried for real. Uh. Um, sorry, but could we hold on just a second? <laughs> I thought he was gonna say, can we just hold hands for a second? I, I think we need to talk about this a little more. Yeah, something's not right. Huh? Do we really need to? We've already decided who did it. I know, but still. I got so much more evidence There's up my sleeve. still bothering me. Is that right? And what, pray tell, is still bothering you? I killed her in the girl's locker room, then disguised my crime. I hate how he's talking like this. How he's like, 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 uh, Nagito. Oh, God damn it. Like, Nagi said that he seems so unbothered by the fact everyone's accusing him. So this can't be right. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it look like it was the work of a homicidal psychopath. What about all that bothers you? Your attitude! <laughs> Wait. What was that just now? Something's not right. Shiro's body was definitely found in a girl's locker room, but does that mean? Can I really just accept what Byaku said as the truth? How could he have gotten in there? In the girl's locker room to kill her there, but the thing is... We found something of the handbooks, but we haven't found the lost handbooks. So... I feel like I forgot something. I still still bothers me. I feel like I forgot something during the exploration time. Oh damn it! Investigation, not exploration. No, I don't think so. That's maybe something up about what he said. Essential court. Uh, the scene of the crime. Maybe. You say the you killed the hero shit. in the girls' locker room, right? How did you get in? Are you sure about that? Isn't it possible that the murder took place somewhere else? Because the blood stains were in the things in the guy's locker room. Yeah. How disappointing. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Even in the world of disappointments, this is a true letdown. Ah! She was found dead in the girl's locker room. There is absolutely no question about that. Now you're the one acting stupid. How could the scene of the crime have been anywhere else? Well... I think it's entirely possible that she was killed somewhere else, then carried there later. Then the murder was definitely a guy trying to cover up the fact that she was killed by a guy. Along with the rest of the murder scene. The rest of the murder scene? Ah. <laughs> that was awfully specific. Please tell me you have a reason for saying all of that. Allow me to elaborate for you, darling. I believe I do. <laughs> hey, Byakuya, did you just... Did I just take you off guard? When the story suddenly moved to the crime scene, Jackie, I would have been too confident up till now. Yeah, so he definitely was just playing along to fool with us or whatever. Maybe Yaku never even realized that the actual scene of the crime could have been somewhere else. Hey, don't just move on without permission. I'm sorry. What do you mean she was killed somewhere else? Come on, Makoto. If yeah, there's any waiting. chance the murder took place somewhere else, let's see the proof. Okay. Yeah. Evidence that shows the murder took place somewhere else. There was something that was switched between the boys and girls locker room. Yes, uh, the posters. Yes. I got it. I got it. The proof that she was killed somewhere else is the poster that's hanging in each locker room. Your proof is some posters? Yeah, because you know there's like big titty girlfriend and then there's like gay, ba I was going to say gay people thing because I didn't remember the word for boys. Waking up gay. Oh, the poster uh, in the girls' <laughs> locker room was a picture Wrong. of a big boob supermodel. <laughs> but don't you think that's kind of strange? Imagine being in court and saying things like big boob supermodel. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why would the girls' locker room have a poster like that? Why not? <laughs> I bet those massive jugs of hers were totally <laughs> fake. <laughs> that's not even up for the page. Meanwhile, <laughs> the boys' locker room had. A poster of the super popular boy band Tornado. <laughs> Tornado, this is Streamboat Express from Sonic Boom. <laughs> Again, that doesn't really seem to belong in a boy's locker room. Now you're just being homophobic. <laughs> so you're saying that maybe the posters were switched? And there's one other thing I noticed about the locker rooms. You know what I'm talking about, right, Sakura? The coffee stain on the carpet. You're referring to my protein coffee, aren't you? <laughs> protein coffee. Protein coffee? 
While I was in the girls' locker room earlier, I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. I still think she sounds like Shao from Genshin. But I noticed that after the murder, the stain had been totally scrubbed away. Maybe the murderer had a little bit of OCD and was trying to clean up the murder scene. <laughs> it was Schmidt from New Girl. <laughs> Result that the stain was scrubbed away. It was moved! Ah, uh, where is it? Ah! Of course, correct. I found it. I got it. I got it. The stain on the girls' locker room carpet wasn't scrubbed away. In fact, I found it on the boys' locker room carpet. It kind of looks like a shit stain. <laughs> That's definitely the stain from my protein coffee. <laughs> from my morning shit. Then, does that mean that the carpets were switched too? Yeah. But why would anyone do that? Because they're telling us the ultimate interior designer. To move the murder scene from one <laughs> locker room to the other. It's certainly plausible, don't you think? That's how they gave away who they are, by exposing their talent in their murder scene. Being like, I'm the ultimate interior designer. I like switching out furniture. I like playing Animal Crossing, hell yeah. What? In other words, in order to completely swap the scene of the crime, the bloodstained poster and carpet were moved along with the dead body. By doing this, the killer was able to change the entire room where the murder took place. I can certainly follow your reasoning, but why would the culprit bother doing that? Huh? Mm. Why would they go through all that trouble of switching the scene of the crime? As I- wait, 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 oh god, why did I make a pause here from the last episode I recorded? Because we were talking about how Tiara was meeting up with someone to exercise. And this person lured her into the guy's locker room and then killed her over there, so the person she met up with must have been a guy. Because maybe... What if... What if she was killed in front of the of the locker rooms? Because someone she was meeting up with already had the Dumble the murder weapon in in their hand, waiting for her in the dark, ambushing her. And when someone is killed, it doesn't count as a person of the other gender, so you can drag them inside the locker room of the opposite gender. Like if Chihiro was gonna go inside a locker room that she doesn't have the access to because of her handbook. If you just need the handbook to open the door, then she could have gotten in any locker room. Or the, the person she met up with could have opened the door and they both went in there. But like, what if she was dead before and then ended up in it? That's what I was gonna say before, but um... Actually, an even bigger question. If the murder did take place in the boy's locker room... It's definitely not Sugami then, because he didn't know about this anyways, and I don't think he would... I don't think that was an act when he acted so confused. Then how get in the boys' locker room in the first place? Someone else opened the door, or someone used another handbook. Ah, the handbook! To get into the locker rooms, you have to swipe your e-handbook across the card reader device. But Chihiro's handbook should have only allowed her access to the girls' locker room. I'm feeling some big brain right now. She had no way to get into the boys' locker room to begin with. What if she was dead already? No, she did have a way. And I can tell you what it was. Shape shifting. I highly doubt that. <laughs> Shut up! I'm telling you, I know how she could have done it. Is he right? Could she really have gotten into the boys' locker room somewhere? Yeah, obviously, but I don't think that Yasuo Hero knows how. Broken e handbook. E handbook. <laughs> Is it really possible? Yes. Oh, my heart hurts. Could Chihiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Ah! I got it! Yeah. She must have hacked her e handbook. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted. She was ah! the ultimate programmer, after all. Oh, true. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure that would have been no problem for her. Ah. Uh, well, I don't think that's it. She dun, dun, used the thing dun, that was dun, in the main dun, hall. Dun, dun, dun. Huh? What thing? Well, I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. Yeah, but I didn't need to change my. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah. Shoot. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yes, I shouldn't change my. Is it my really thing, possible? My bullet. Could Chihiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? Ah, I got it. She must have hacked her e-handbook. 
she was no. the ultimate programmer after all. Yes, that's true, but I'm still. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. No, I don't think that's it. She used the thing that was in the main hall. I'm surprised he can remember. What thing? Okay. I'm talking, talking about stuff. Leon's handbook, of course. Broken handbook. No, that's wrong. Leon. Oh, Leon's was the one that's broken, and the other ones were girls' handbooks. No, I don't think Chihiro used Leon's handbook. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I just. You know these moments in like TV shows when they suddenly they're like, oh, big brain power, and then suddenly the person has figured it all out. Broken handbook. Leon's handbook was broken and Shihiro's handbook wasn't there. Because... What if Shihiro is actually a guy and it, it was taken away by Monokuma? So that nobody could like figure something like... Like as a hint for the crime that took place, you know? What if... What if that's why it disappeared or what if Shihiro was like... And that's the secret she was trying to hide. That was the motive in this in this trial, oh my god. That's why the handbook disappeared. Because it revealed the real gender ID. Oh my. Why not? Because okay. Leon's handbook was broken. Yeah. Oh. Well then, yeah, I guess that'd be pretty impossible, huh? I am struck silent by how quickly you gave up. I just... I'm only getting started, Plus, Sakura. Isn't there a regulation against using someone else's handbook? Yeah, but you can borrow someone else's hand. I don't still know how that would make sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. Actually, the rule states that loaning your handbook is prohibited. It says nothing about borrowing one. Does it make sense to me? Because it's the same thing in my mind, but it go off, in I other guess. Words, you could borrow a dead person's handbook all you want, and you'd be safe. Yep, yep, yep. Hit the nail square on the noggin! Yeah, but still, Leon's was broken, and the other ones belong to Sayaka and Junko. Of course, if it were broken, that wouldn't make any sense anyway. So then, she must have hacked hers, like I said. She used her ultimate programmer skills and... Psst! You can't fix an okay. e handbook! The instant you open one up, a security buzzer starts glaring! And she probably would have been killed. So, if she didn't use Leon's handbook, and she didn't modify her own handbook... Where is her own handbook? Why is someone questioning maybe that? Maybe Mr. Nayagi's initial assumption is just... wrong? Shut the fuck up, you for It me. seems like there's no way she could have got into the boys' locker room. So I guess so. Or I, I wish I could just jump into the game and ask Monokuma if it would be okay to drag a dead body Who's technically not a living person anymore to drag that one into the opposite locker room. Okay, then I vote for Byakuya Ah I said it then Shiro was killed in a girl's locker room and Byakuya the one who did it really No, 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 no his reaction gave it all away. But still, I don't know what else I can do. Hold on a second. Thanks for just she did say something about examine the body for Rolly. Okay, maybe the whole gender thing isn't close yet. I agree with you though. I think you're on the right track. Thank you, Kyoko, for the... saving my butt one more time. You finally decide to open your mouth and that's what you've got to say? This man to swine tastes the same as I remember. There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? So why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. Uh <laughs> floor tiles. What? What are you talking about? What other way is there? Well, to explain that, why don't we take a little break from the trial? I'd like you all to come see something. Uh, is that even allowed, Monokuma? Wait, 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 wait. Just what do you think you're doing? We're gonna watch some YouTube videos now. Don't worry. This'll make the whole trial more exciting. I'm sure that thought must please you. Huh? It'll make things more exciting? No. Well, all right then. <laughs> I declare an official class trial recess. Why is okay, th that was easy. <gasps> For real? I don't get it either. Now then, what is it you want to show us? It better not be boring or I'll be very unhappy. He's just gonna execute Kyoku for fun because she let him down. Oh, I have no doubt it'll meet your lofty expectations. So, shall we go? It doesn't, it doesn't fit inside my head that the person that voiced Kyoko Kirigiri also voiced Winty. <laughs> oh man. So before I even knew what was happening, the class trial had been put on hold. We had it off of Kyoko in the lead. And where she took us was... Did she find the handbook? Okay, we're back at the crime scene. The girl's locker room? 
We've already searched this place top to bottom. What are you trying to pull, Missy? <laughs> Missy. I'd like you to examine the victim's body one more time. Oh. Uh, Maybe check it again. Be sure to examine the entire body very carefully. Take your time. Examine her carefully. Oh. Like using our hands? That feels a little bit illegal. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! My speech. <laughs> it's probably best if I don't run my hands all over a girl's dead body. Yeah, just touching dead bodies in general is kind of eh. It's not that I'm creeped out or anything, it's just based on religious grounds, you know? <laughs> I have no problems touching a dead body. Anyways, I do kind of have a problem touching a girl's body. <laughs> Very well. I'll do it. Okay. But, but you're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. Just let one of the boys do it. Yeah, but she's a girl. You know? <sighs> no, it's okay. I think Chihiro would rather have a girl examine her. So just leave this to me. Sakura reminds me of Luisa from Enc Encanto. <laughs> Sakura? She's gonna start rapping. What is this? Some kind of secret girl on girl action? Is that what you two are about? <laughs> That's not it at all. <laughs> Stop screwing around. The fandom says otherwise. Okay, here I go. I'm sorry, Chihiro. Please excuse the intrusion. Oh god, let's go. Putting her hands together in a brief prayer, Sakura then began to quietly examine her body. Be sure to check her entire body, and I believe we will solve this particular mystery. Her entire body? I know you say that, but... What? This is... It, what is this... <laughs> um. What is it? Not possible. It's not possible. Oh, dude, what the fuck is going on? That sprite looks horrifying. Sakura's like eyes were stopping wide... We're staring widely at Hiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This... This girl is... Is what? Is a boy. It's so weird to, <laughs> to just imagine how Kyoko's like, oh, move your hands deeper, like, bro. Ah, I see. So she was actually a he. Interesting. Thank you for confirming this fact. Wish I could have spent more time with Tiro. Think I only talked one time to him. <laughs> You're joking, right? I wouldn't joke about this. <laughs> yeah, so then the murder must have also been a guy. It's really true? Hero was a guy? Okay, I need to, to, to pay closely attention to everyone's reaction because the murderer obviously should have known already. Hmm? Oh, what? You guys didn't know? Heck, I knew that right off the bat! So that makes sense that the handbook wasn't here. Chihiro Fujisaki was totally a guy! But then... He was a cross-dresser?! Oh, no, I'm really on fire! I wish I had killed him! Um... Okay. So that's <laughs> what Kyoko wanted to show everyone, huh? Interesting. No, oh, damn. <laughs> yes! That certainly does make things much more exciting. Now let's ride this wave of excitement back to the courtroom and get back to the trial. Like there's no way people would have figured out on their own if Kyoko <laughs> wouldn't have come up I with this. I do apologize for keeping you waiting. Now then, let's resume the class trial. We've all just learned of the shocking revelation that Chihiro was actually a boy. Let's pick up from there. Yes, well. I don't know his reason for hiding it, but the fact is, Chihiro was not a girl, but a boy. They also didn't this also say something last episode that Chihiro rather hang out hang out with the guys than with the girls or something like that. I think that Chihiro is actually a guy. Before that, never even crossed my mind. And because the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Yeah. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list his gender as male. Then yes, that would be true. Yes. Of course his handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through and through. So then, there should be no issue with Makoto's initial assertion. 
the victim was killed in the boys' locker room and was then later moved to the girls' locker room. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girls' locker room. True. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Okay. So Chihiro really was killed in the boys' locker room? Okay, it wasn't him. He's like too, too uh, surprised about everything that we say. I still don't understand the motive for moving the body, but yes, that does seem plausible. I also don't think it's just a hero, like he would never have the brain cells to kill anyone. <laughs> well, I must admit, I did find it rather odd. Yeah, it probably wasn't Tagami either. I knew he felt a little off. There was a certain incongruity to his female body. Bitch, shut the fuck up. This is the most titillating situation! So now everything has been connected. All the mysteries have finally become clear. Hmm. Okay, well, connected or clear or whatever, we still think you're the killer, remember? No. <laughs> no. Very interesting. I don't think so. This has become very interesting indeed. Ah, he's off in his own little world. Mm, true. What about you, Makoto? After everything we've learned, do you still think Byakuya is the killer? Nah, his reaction gave it away. Well, without a doubt, Byakuya is the one that made Chihiro's death look like Genocide Jack did it. I completely forgot about this part already, but, yeah. But I... He was... That's so stupid though, like, even if he... Why would he do that? Like, he knows if we picked him or uh, Toko as the killer and neither of them did the murder, did commit the murder actually. And all of us, including him, would have been dead. Like, bruh. <laughs> That's stupid. I think he might not actually be the killer after all. Yeah, but then he's just really fucking stupid. What? But aren't you the one who accused him in the first place? I was a different person back then. This was weeks ago. He just seems to be too easygoing about all this. Like he's enjoying us solving the mystery. The way he's acting, it makes it seem like it doesn't have anything to do with him. Hmm. What if he's just playing dumb to... <laughs> and you think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him? At this point, I don't know anything anymore. Plus, the evidence he left behind was a little too... How can I put it? Overt. He consciously chose to use the extension cord, knowing it could connect him to the murder. Uh... At least, that's how I see it. Why? And Byakuya, when you found out the murder took place in the boys' locker room, it seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy. If you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but... But... It's fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct, for the time being. Okay. Mark it as... correct? <laughs> He's right. I am not the culprit. That's what only a culprit would say. I'm back on the track, it's him. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room and decided to alter it. What if someone would have walked in? That would have been the most embarrassing, awkward moment ever. Are you fucking with us right now? No, I am not effing with you right now. I'm telling you the truth. It's okay, you can say fuck, we're in a killing game. Well, I find it very hard to believe. Oh, we, we be committing murders, but you still can't say the effort. Oh, shame on you, Togami. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. Yeah, that makes all of us, including you. If you're really telling the truth, then why? Why do you do that to his body? My reasons hardly matter right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? Now then, if it wasn't me, who was it? I have no idea. Well... I don't think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. So it's it can't be one of the girls because they couldn't have got gone to the guys' locker room. But we're seriously gonna keep going? We're all good, aren't we? I thought it was clear Biapia did it. I don't think it's him. No, I'm with Makoto. If there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. Because if we're wrong. We all die here. Mondo looks kind of fed up right now. That's true. Very well then. I'm with you too. Damn straight. Kill me in. Hmm. What about? Okay, Hifumi didn't notice. Do you at not all. have a mind of your own? Of course I do. What am I, an ant or something? <laughs> oh, I just see look so mad about anyway, it. Anyway, 
Let's discuss this all as a group one more time. We still have time to make our decision. That's very true. Our lives are all on the line. Excellent. Then shall we resume our game of hide and seek? Oh, I hate him. <laughs> but Bjarke didn't do it. Who's the real killer? Who murdered Chihiro? There's one thing we can be sure that we know about the killer. The killer was able to gain access to the real murder scene, which means the killer is a guy. I got it. That narrows it down to 50%, I guess. Since the crime scene was the boys' locker room, you would need you would need a boys' handbook to get in. Since Leon's handbook is apparently broken, the killer would have had to use their own. In other words, it had to have been a guy. But that's still not enough. I need to find some more clues. Okay! I don't know what's gonna happen now, but we're gonna find out. So that's the account. What? What did she say? I forgot. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Ugh. Well, clues are one thing, but... Did nobody get a look at the killer? Mm. I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. So that's the only saw that... Someone saw the victim at some point. Yeah. Even that might be enough She was now. going out to, uh, yeah. working out. All we need right now is any kind of new info. Okay, sorry. Don't scare me like that. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna listen to the whole thing now. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna shut up. I'm never gonna talk Isn't again. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Come on. Well, clues are one thing, but... Did nobody get a look at the killer? I'm sure if someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. <laughs> Perhaps someone saw the victim at some point. Even that might be enough for now. Yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new info. It's over. It's all over. Give me you something useful. Who saw the victim? Come on. The killer. And only the killer. No. Ha! I got it. No, that's wrong. I thought it was already gone. But I still... Got it. I believe someone else did see the victim before he was murdered. What do you think, Celeste? Now that you mention it, yes, I did see him. In the warehouse. Huh? Really? Yeah. Oh, but I suppose only Makoto knows about this. The rest of you had no idea, did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. <laughs> okay. Whatever, just hurry up and tell us. It was last night. Right before night time, I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. Yeah. I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. Such a cute picture. Jacket and a duffel bag. But we didn't find anything like that at the murder scene. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. And that is when he said something that struck me as rather odd. Hmm, what could that be? What? I better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Yeah. Chihiro told me he was in a hurry. But why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone were waiting for him, I should think. Oh, how can you trick someone like that and just be like, Hey, yo, let's meet up to work out together. And then just be like, oh, you're gonna die now. So, Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out together? But Hina and I had invited him to exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Probably because he was afraid you'd find out the secret he was hiding, right? Imagine if it would have been like this, he would have gone like training of uh, Asahina and Sakura because they just dragged him with them. He was trying to enter the door and just miss I would have just shot him because he doesn't have access to the ghost locker room. <laughs> Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much. Enough so that he was willing to risk his secret being revealed. <laughs> oh, what a marvelous friendship! And then this person kills him. The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. But knowing what we know, I can't even guess. There must be more, but what? No, you already have what you need to make the connection. I don't think so at all. Huh? Um... You know who the killer is. No, I don't. Seriously? 
Kyoko is just talking bullshit now. Who, who is it? Who's the killer? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. The killer disposed of? Focus on the details of B's items, and it should become obvious who was waiting for him. No! Are you sure about that? Uh, this feels like when you're like writing a test in school and then they're like, Oh, we had this last week in maths class, don't you remember? You are supposed to know this and you're like... 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3 quick maths. You really think we can figure out who did it based on two pieces of evidence that we don't have? It's a blue training suit. And I suppose all guys have blue training suits and the girls, I don't know, red or something. What? You wanna track down some fingerprints or something? What is going on? Even if we had the equipment for that, we wouldn't know how to use it. As was noted, the evidence is already gone. There's nothing to get fingerprints from. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. Easy for you to say. Just say it, Kyoko. But fine. Celeste, did you notice anything special about the bag or jacket? The bag was just a normal duffel bag from the warehouse. All the bags in there are the same, so I can't imagine what would make that one special. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of tracksuits to choose from. Oh, okay, I see. Do you think there might be some connection between the culprit and Shahiro's jacket? Mm. Perhaps. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. Ugh. Does Chiro's track jacket really hold some clue about the killer? Somehow it's really hard to believe. The last account, once again. I feel this time, uh, I feel like this time we have to copy someone else's statement. First of all, we know where Chihiro was headed. Yeah. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? Maybe he didn't. What do you mean, the specific tracksuit? That's like two. I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing. Yeah, but so why? What you're saying is the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him. Uh, how did you know? My tracksuit is black. How did you know it was blue? Uh, what are you talking about? Shut up, you little bitch. Shoot! <laughs> First of all, this is making my brain headed. hurt. He was on his way to go exercise. So next we have to ask, why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? Come on, hurry up. Specific Can I like skip this or? He picked that tracksuit. It matched the one. Oh, I can. The killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit. My tracksuit is. Ah! I got the wrong one. Oh. Okay, at least I know how to fast forward now. First of all, when he was on his way, so next we have to ask, why did he choose? What do you mean? The I got it. He picked that. It matched the one the culprit was wearing. So what you're saying is, Come on. the killer was wearing the same blue tracks. Yeah, it didn't say it was blue. Oh man, this is. Uh... Hold on a second, Mondo. What did you just say? This is so weird. Uh, okay, so I get it. This trial has been going on forever. So at some point they have to just give away who the killer is. If it's him and he accidentally let some, I don't know, info slip that he's not supposed to know. Because everyone thought it was Toko and then we thought it was Byakuya. But like, the way Kyoko said it's like, oh, you're supposed to know this. It is in your info. It isn't in my info. Like, how would they... Like you just assume that they their their uh, tracksuits were matching. Like even if there was a big variety of it, maybe he just chose blue because it's his favorite color. It's literally not that deep, and no one said anything about matching tracksuits. Said it this actually has to be the case. It was just that Ishimaru was like throwing the idea into the room, and then Mondo reacted wrongly huh? to it. What I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago. She said... So I'm stepping a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then I assume he added up to exercise. She never said anything about the jacket's color. 
So why did you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? What are you? You just... Hey, Celeste, what color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was blue. What if she couldn't remember, before though? Before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? The only one I told about any of this was you. Uh, then, Mondo, how did you know what color Chihiro's tracksuit was? Because I... I just... I'm sure he saw the clothes at some point in the investigation. Did he? No, that can't be it. Oh yeah, they said something about the murder disposed uh, the clothes. The bag and clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Then the only reason he could have known what color the tracksuit was is if he saw Cherry with it before he died. Cherry. That's the only possibility. Um. Cherry. Are Are you talking about your hero? <laughs> so how about it? Did you see the tracksuit or didn't you? Just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. Why is Toko even still genocide, Jack? Why, why, is, why did she not switch back yet? He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. Yeah, yeah, I'm making up that now, right, Chongli? No, that can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony, she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it, and just like that, she was gone. When Celeste noticed it. Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely in the back. If you just ran into him briefly, you couldn't possibly have seen what color the tracksuit was. Yeah. It would appear you've dug your own grave. Hmm, perhaps. But you handed him the shovel, didn't you? That's why you said what you did. Focus on the tracksuit and it'll be obvious who he met with? What a bunch of nonsense. Like, how did she know this before? There's no way Kyoko, Kyoko is kind of sus too, but there's no way she could have known this, like, it's not making sense, it's like, this was pulled out of her ass. Ah, now I understand. It was all one big bluff, wasn't it? Mm. Your true intention was to draw a slip of the tongue from the culprit. Nah. That's why you said you nah. knew who did it, to put them on edge. That's right. However, mm, they're, now they're trying to, now they're trying to come away as smart. I see what you're doing. Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions about him from the very beginning. Yeah, I kind of had to at some point, but come on. But why? What made you so suspicious? I didn't pay attention. Did, how did you react when you found out about Shiro's gender? That's a good question. The way he talked, the way he was acting. Because I hate him. <laughs> Sorry. There was a certain turning point that ticked me off. <laughs> Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. Oh? You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. I never... No, I never would have noticed that. No, never. And after he was killed, you happened to refer to him as dude. I'm so out. No, come on, Once no. I picked up on that. It occurred to me that Mondo knew something we didn't. Did you notice such a tiny detail? This is like this is those things that is making it impossible for. I, I heard some people. My partner told me that that's the problem they have with the TV show Sherlock. I never watched it, but like that's like you're trying to solve a crime case as the person only watching this, but then there's like details that you can't possibly know of. And they're like, oh, this is so obvious, and now we found out because of this, and this is just ruining all of the fun because it doesn't make any logically sense. Are you a witch? She's a witch! You're positively frightful! No, I'm not the frightful one. This is really bothering me right now, I don't know. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. Duh. Mondo, was it really you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I... 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 Uh... This man, this wine, this. I didn't kill anyone! You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting words in my mouth. Oh, ASMR strongly. What gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? Yeah, he would never do something like that. This is a false accusation. It's true. My reasoning on that is pretty shaky. Yeah. Yeah. That was fast. Well, 
This does present us with a problem. It seems we are all out of leads. Panic action talk battle thing, wow. <laughs> My time has nearly come. What is he going on about now? That's what my little ghost friend is telling me. Oh, oh. yeah, that reminds me. Kifumi, weren't you telling me you found some evidence? What is going on now? Really? What kind of evidence? Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Mm. Jeez, does your confidence just get up and walk away? It's fine, man. Just tell us. If you really insist, then... Um... Here it is. I'm trying to figure out whether this is going on so long or whether I should make a cut here. I think I'm making a cut here because this class trial is going on for like 50 minutes now, so... <laughs> uh, that's not how you... That's how it goes. See you in the next episode of Dangon of Trick Happy Hammer when we finish this class trail and until then, she said. Goodbye. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. soon.